hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about progress bars so i hope that uh, you have an idea about uh, how progress bar looks like uh, but yeah uh, first of all uh, i will just uh, give a demo of how progress bars looks like and uh, then we will do some uh, what i say complicated work regarding progress bar so first of all let's create here a simple progress bar so i will create first a bar here okay and then i will uh, increment uh, values in the progress property of the progress bar okay so just write here st dot progress okay progress and uh, by the default value of this progress bar will be zero okay and this line will basically create a progress bar okay and uh, now if i save it and uh, if i open a new terminal and if i write uh, a streamlet run man.py hit enter this will open uh, our app here okay so uh, here is our app and as you can see uh, we have here a progress bar but uh, currently the progress is zero because we have set its value to zero okay and now let's increment this value okay so i will write here for i in r a n g range uh, maybe 10 okay so let me mention you here that uh, this progress text values from 0 to 100 okay and and those values should be integers okay no float and nothing else okay so uh, i will complete the progress of this progress bar in 10 steps okay so that's why i'm writing here range 10 okay so I just uh, put colon here okay and now uh, i will say uh, b a r bar dot p r o g r e w s progress okay and every time uh, i will use the value of i and i will multiply that value with 10 okay so if my i is zero then this means that our progress will be uh, zero uh, but if my i is one then our progress will be 10 percent and if my i is two then our progress will be 20 percent and so on but here let me mention you that uh, the value of i uh, will start from 0 and it will go to uh, 9 okay and that's why we will get an uh, error or not an error but a weird output so in order to solve this problem uh, we just need to add 1 in this uh, i value okay and uh, then we need to multiply that value with 10 okay and i hope that this will solve our problem okay and i will also wait for some time period because if i run it you will see that we will get a 100 percent output because we are not waiting and this function the cpu will calculate this function so quickly okay so we need to wait for some time period and for this purpose i will use a time module okay so just import imp or import time okay and now let's uh, write here uh, time time dot slwp sleep sorry uh, slwp sleep okay and i will uh, sleep for one second okay so let's save it let's uh, rerun it and see okay it's good 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 excellent it's working very very well okay and this is how a progress bar works okay and yeah complete it okay so i hope that uh, you have understood how this progress bar works okay and now uh, here i am thinking that uh, i will ask user to enter uh, time okay here using this timer and then i will complete the progress of this progress bar using that time period okay and for this purpose uh, first of all the default value of our this timer will be zero zero okay so i need to set a value here as well okay so i will write value 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 so value is the built-in property which allow us to set uh, the default value of our time input widget okay so just write here value okay and now make sure that uh, this value should be your uh, dead time object okay and it means that in order to set the value we can't write here like zero zero or maybe something else okay we can't write here integers we can't write here strings okay so the only solution for this is to use a dead time object uh, okay and uh, i need to set a time period for this uh, value property and for this purpose i need to import my dead time module and from that dead time module i need to import my time okay so i will write here uh, from dat dead uh, time okay from dead time sorry from dead time uh, i import import uh, time okay 
okay so now here we have this time and here we have this time as well and if i run it uh, you will see here an error so how to solve this problem so the solution is very simple uh, i will import this time as my uh, ts okay so time second okay and here i will change this time from time to ts okay and now uh, you will not get any er any type of error okay and here in the value i will say that uh, a time okay time okay and then inside this time i need to pass my uh, hours and then a uh, minutes and then seconds okay so my hours will be zero and then my minutes will be zero as well okay and then my seconds will be zero or you can pass a milliseconds or microseconds as well but uh, i will not uh, go in that much detail okay so this is how you can set the default value of this time input so if i run it and yeah zero zero we are getting zero zero okay so it's cool now the user need to uh, select any time period okay so this is my 15 seconds 30 seconds okay so uh, i need to complete this the progress of this progress bar in that time period okay so i will use this value okay and first of all i will check that if my val is uh, empty or if my val is basically zero 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 uh, then uh, i need to uh, ask user to enter time period okay and after entering time period i will start my other function okay so uh but uh, first of all before i done this type of uh, operation uh let's see the data type of this val okay so let's print here print typ type val val okay let's save it and uh, let's rerun it okay so as you can see here the data type of my this value is uh, this okay and now in order to check for this type of a value uh, i first need to convert this val to a string a variable okay and then i can uh, check it with a string value okay so uh, just remove this line okay and i will write here if my str okay i need to convert my this value to string value uh, is uh, zero zero then zero zero and then zero zero okay so if my value is sorry uh, double equals to this type of value okay and the default value will be this type because we are mentioning here zero 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 okay so this would be the format and if this is true i need to write st dot w r i t write okay and i will say uh, please uh, set I am here please set timer okay and uh, else yes else uh, I will say mm, maybe I will print a message uh, performing other function okay P R F O R M A performing other function okay so I will later perform other function and uh, let's rerun it okay please set time timer okay let's set a timer to maybe 15 seconds okay and okay so perform other function okay so this is how you can process this thing but uh, as you can see here we are now getting these two bars okay and the reason is that first of all it will run this part and then it will run this parts and that why we are getting this type of uh, output but don't worry uh, we will solve it in a bit later okay so now inside this else uh, i will perform my uh, other functions okay so i will remove this Part, okay and let's uh, uh, make this bar inside this else okay this for function as well uh, this thing then this thing okay so it's cool and uh, now uh, let's indent it as well. okay so first of all if a uh, uh, user selects a timer uh, I just need to convert my hours and minutes and seconds to a seconds value as well okay because this uh, time dot sleep basically takes a se value in seconds so i need to convert uh, this value to seconds as well and uh, for this purpose i will create a separate function so let's create here a function that will convert my the values from dead time objects to seconds okay so let's type here c o n v r your converter okay and this function will take a value value okay and i will pass my this uh, value uh, as a 
uh, string okay and uh, first of all uh, i need to extract my hours then i need to extract my sec minutes and then i need to extract my seconds okay so i will write here h uh, m and seconds okay is equals to and uh, i will say mm, this value v a l u -E value dot spl at split okay so uh make sure that uh, you should pass your values inside this function as strings because uh this split function will uh never split your values okay if you do not pass values in form of a string okay and okay so i hope that you have understood and now i need to uh, pass a special type of symbol for splitting okay and that symbol in this case will be my this colon because as you can see here we have colon here colon here as well okay so this is my hours minutes and seconds okay but uh, let me mention you here that uh, we in this uh, set timer we just have this minutes then this seconds minutes seconds so we doesn't have any hours so and we doesn't have any milliseconds okay so here let me make uh, uh, let me clear your concept that uh, uh, this split function will basically uh, give uh, minutes inside this h variable okay and then seconds inside this minute variable and then milliseconds inside this s so i just need to make a correct uh, naming for this thing as well okay so this will be my minute this will be my seconds okay and this will be our milliseconds okay so now i hope that this will make a sense so whenever we split values of this val variable we will hold our minutes inside this uh, our seconds sorry seconds inside this and milliseconds inside this okay and then uh, i will convert minutes and seconds and milliseconds to seconds okay so and i will hold my all values inside this ts variable which is total seconds okay so now i just need to first convert my this uh, minute to uh, integer value because currently our this minute will be a string okay so just convert it to integer okay and then i will multiply it with uh, 60 because in a single minute we have 60 seconds okay and then i will add my uh, integer i will add my this seconds to this value okay and then uh, i will uh, add my this uh, milliseconds to it as well okay so i will write here int then uh, milliseconds okay in a one second we have 1000 milliseconds okay so we need to divide this value with 1000 okay so this is this is just a basic math okay and then i need to return this ts uh, variable okay so return t underscore s okay let's save it okay so now this is the function which will convert my this value to seconds value okay and now here first of all uh, I, I just need to pass my this value to this function okay so I will write here your nvrt converter okay and uh, I will pass my this value as a string okay so string this value okay and, uh, as you can see here this function will return this t underscore s okay sorry t and then small s okay so t underscore s so i need to uh, i will store that value to inside this sec variable seconds variable okay and then i will set my bar to zero and i will say for i in progress in range and here inst instead of 10 i will say in range 100 okay and uh, here you just need to understand the logic that now i need to divide my these seconds into 100 parts in order to increment equally in this uh, progress value each loop okay and for this purpose we just need to divide the seconds uh, by 100 okay and this will uh, give us uh, 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 what i say a percentage value okay so let's write here parse is equals to sec divided by 100 okay we need to divide this seconds with 100 okay in order to get 100 parts uh equal parts of this uh, seconds okay and uh, then uh, i will say that uh, a bar progress okay i just need to remove this multiply 100 okay so I, every time i will increment in this progress with the uh, one okay and uh, now uh, for the ts dot sleep i will just uh, sleep for 
this person seconds okay so just right here PR percent okay and now uh, we are basically what we are doing here is that uh, we are completing the progress of this progress bar in this time period so okay so if a user uh, enters 15 seconds we will complete the progress of this progress bar in 15 seconds if user enter uh, 100 seconds we will complete the progress of this progress bar in 100 seconds and this process will go on okay so i hope that uh, this the logic is a little bit tricky but i hope that you will understand it when uh, you will uh, write this code by your own self okay so now let's uh, run this thing okay so let's rerun it and first of all i will say please set timer and i need to complete the progress in 15 seconds so let's select 15 seconds okay so now our progress bar will complete the progress in 15 seconds okay cool okay so our progress bar has completed the progress in 15 seconds okay and uh, if i uh, print here the seconds you will see that uh, we will get uh, 15 seconds output as well okay so 15 seconds and uh, let's uh, read on it okay so here you will see that if i select uh, 30 seconds you will see here 30 okay so as you can see we have 30 here and now our progress bar will complete its progress in 30 seconds okay so it is taking so much time because we have set our timer to 30 30 seconds okay but uh, i hope that uh, you have understood this thing so we this function will convert our values from uh, minutes seconds and milliseconds to seconds okay and uh, then uh, we are actually uh, setting or creating our progress bar here we are incrementing in our progress bar and here we are this is our wet time period okay so this is basically responsible for completing the progress of our progress bar in certain time period which we will get from our user using this time underscore input widget so i hope that uh, you have understood how this progress bar works and how to set timer and now uh, here in the last uh, i will also uh, I, I just need to print the percentage of my this progress bar here down here as well okay and for this purpose i just need to use st dot writ write function and i will just uh, print the value of i okay and uh, along with a percentage sign okay so uh, this person but yeah again this i is an integer so uh, you will get an error so we need to convert this integer to a string okay so just write here str okay and let's save it and uh, let's rerun it and set the timer to 15 seconds okay so we are getting very weird outputs let's stop it okay so every time uh, this function loops uh, it creates a st.write widget again and again okay and i do not want this type of output uh, in order to solve this type of problem uh, we have an other built-in widget of uh, streamlit and that is known as a empty widget okay so uh, first we need to create an empty widget and then i need to change the value of that empty widget okay so here i will write pro gre double progress underscore s st a t u s progress status is equals to st dot e m p t y st dot empty okay and this will be my empty widget first and then instead of this st i will say P R O G R E double progress status okay dot write and then I need to write my values okay so let's save it and I also need to increment the I value here as well so let's save it and now let's rerun it and you will get your required output so let's set 15 seconds and yeah this is what I was talking about okay so 20 23 20 30 okay so cool we are getting our required output so i hope that uh, in this tutorial we have understood each and everything so we have covered 
but I say three basic uh, concepts. One is the concept of progress bar, other one is the concept of this empty widget, and the second one is the concept of these this function and uh, this uh, value, okay? So, which is the property of this time underscore input widget. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial, and in the next tutorial, we will see something new till that point. Bye bye.